here at the Meadowlands. Connecticut has to go the length of the floor in one second, and Clemson has also used its last timeout, obviously, to look to see who was out there for Connecticut and what they're trying to set up. Well, what they did is as soon as they saw the Connecticut alignment, they had Elton uh, Campbell on the ball. So they're putting their long, the biggest fella with the longest arms, and he's going to play the guy out of bounds. But then Cliff Ellis very smartly called timeout to see where the other, he saw where the other people were going to be aligned. Now, does Jim Calhoun, does he change his alignment now, okay, at the other end of the floor? Uh, he only has one second. Neither team has a timeout. But this is smart basketball by putting your tallest guy on the out-of-bounds man because he cannot see past him once he puts up his arms. There are the comebacks for Clemson. But keep in mind that if they wrap this one up after being down by 19, it would be against certainly the best team that they had staged to come back all season. Coming up after this game here at the Meadowlands, the winner of this, Clemson's leading, will play the survivor of Duke against UCLA. Dale Davis with 15 points, 17 rebounds. Campbell, the other part of the duel, Doom also with 15, and Smith with 23 leading Connecticut. All right, now they have Campbell on the ball right now, and everyone else is matched up. Scott Burrell will inbound, and he's got Burrell at 6'5", facing 6'11", Campbell. Well, I'll tell you, Marion Cass has just left Chris Smith here. Now, I don't know whether they're enticing a pass to Chris Smith, but he's standing right, right in front of half court here. No one playing him. Maybe this is a con. Let's see what happens. Now we're ready to go. Here goes the long pass with one second to go. The shot. Yes! The shot's going to go. The shot by Tate George wins it. This is unbelievable. The whole turn of events, one way and then the other. Tate George wins it with a jumper. They went the length of the court and won it with one second to play, Hubie. Not only the shot, but the fact that he caught the pass in traffic. There's his mom, Erica, looks to be in tears. Caught it in traffic and his back was to the basket. Land it, turn, and let it fly. Tate George, Connecticut will advance to the regional final on an amazing shot. There's your long pass. Here's your catch. How about the, the presence of regrouping for the elevation of that shot? And a man in his face. He was defense well. There's Campbell up. Now here's your luck. Now here it is, in right there in traffic. You know, Sean Tyson didn't want to foul and didn't put his hands up, didn't want to come close. Never thought Tate George could hit that shot. But he did, and Connecticut wins 71-70. to How do they react on the Yukon bench? Is this what it's all about? Oh, oh. Jim Calhoun gets to the regional final, and Cliff Ellis can't believe what he saw. Clemson had outscored Connecticut 30 to 10 in the last 12 and a half minutes after being down by 19 and seemingly had the game in their pocket. Even called a timeout. But you know, 
Scott Burrell knows how to throw the ball, doesn't he? He was a number one choice of the Seattle Mariners as a pitcher in last summer's draft. So he can bring it, as they say. And like they say, he turned down over $100,000 to come and play basketball at UConn. You wonder when the drama will fizzle, but it doesn't in this tournament. And Erica, his mom, and there's... Got to be heartbreak for the people from South Carolina. So Connecticut moves to the regional final and will play the winner of Duke and UCLA on Saturday.